I spent almost three years in making my first perfect Hackintosh work, but you don't need to. This video is going to be a comprehensive guide on how to create Hackintosh in 2025. We have with us Dell Optiplex 3060, a mini PC, which comes with Intel i3-8100 processor and USB 660 graphics. So, we will be installing macOS 15.3 Sequoia on this little machine with graphic expression enabled. And later in this video, we will be also having a hands on the necessary system tweaks to make a Wi Fi and Bluetooth work. So, without any delays, let's get into the scheme of this video and let's create our first Hackintosh. The first and foremost thing we need to ensure is that whether our system is compatible to Mac. There are only two statements. If we have a processor that has iGPU and the process generation is less than 10 generation or equal to 10 generation, we are good to go. If we have incompatible CPU but have compatible GPU, that is the NVIDIA's GT or GTX series or AMD's any series, then we are good to go. Okay, once you are sure that your system is compatible to Mac OS, the next thing which we need to do is to create a new USB installer. So we would be requiring these 7 files, link to all of these are in the description. So let me uh, simplify it for you and I'll explain easily what all these files are. The number one file is Aurelia Secure 15.3.1. So this is the Grow uh, Mac OS installation image file. Uh, you can grab it from the link in the description or you can grab it from the Aurelia's official website. The second is Bali Nature. So Bali Nature is a uh, well-renowned uh, flashing tool. We would be requiring this tool to flash the Aurelia Sequoia this particular file on by USB. The third is Partition Wizard tool. So this is a tool that is uh, that is used to mount the EFI partition of our USB onto the system so that we can use the fourth tool Explorer++ to paste the fifth one EFI on our EFI partition. So what is EFI? I'll explain to you. EFI is in a set of instructions that helps our operating system to boot. It helps us to um, it helps the operating system to get the details what are the exact drivers to be loaded in order to make the operating system go on. The sixth is GenSM BIOS file. So this is in um, Python project so we would be requiring this to generate a fake system ID or board serial for uh, our Mac OS so that our system gets fine with the Apple services such as uh, iCloud and iMessages etc. And the last is property wizard is it it is just a uh, sanitizer tool I would say it just uh, systematically fixes the config.p list file that is in our EF file. So this is all it so let's let's just start the first thing you need to do is grab a usb and mount it to your system meanwhile i'll just format it so let's run this part list disk select disk so mine is uh, this particular disk disk number two times 57 gb then i want system to clean it once the system is succeeded in clearing the USB, all you need is to open this create and format hard disk partition and then grab right click in simple volume next 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 finish. Once your pen drive is formatted, just open the Balena nature. This is second number five. Click on flash drive file, select the installer image that is already similar for Pigma 3.1. Select target, this has to be the USB device on which you want to flash it up. Select and then click on flash. Meantime, uh, the Ballet Nature is flashing our file. Let's quickly fix the EFI. So, this is an EFI. So, there are two folders boot which we don't want to have anything with, and then is open core OC folder. And this this particular file config.plist is where the magic happens. All the tweaks, all the necessary system uh, line items for EFI are registered in this particular config.plist file. So we would be injecting this uh, fake serial number onto uh, config.plist in the EFI folder. So let me open GenSM BIOS first. Let's open the GenSM BIOS or bad file. Okay, once it it's done, just click to select config.plist. I'll select the one from the EFI folder. All we need to do is just drag and drop. Here it is, config of playlist. Just drag it over here and then press enter. Now we need to generate the SM BIOS. I'll just select three. So, uh, 
इफ यू आर हैविंग एन इंटेल प्रोसेसर दैट इज अप टू द एट और नाइन जनरेशन इट्स ऑलवेज रिकमेंडेड टू यूज इफ इट इज अ मोबाइल डिवाइस मैक मिनी एंड अदरवाइज यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज आई मैक सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर बिकॉज आई एम टारगेटिंग अ मैक मिनी प्रोक्सी सो आई वुड बी यूजिंग मैक मिनी एट कोम वन and it will give us these serial numbers all we need to do is just go to apple coverage check and we need to ensure that this is not already registered let's go to this particular website and we need to check whether the serial number so the goal is that the serial number should not be already registered with some other device all right we have just put the serial number which As the message generated for us, it's eight W eight and nine. As you can see that uh, the serial number is not valid as per this particular website, so we are good with it. Remember, we need an invalid serial number right here. Then we'll just press enter and then quit it up. The last thing we need to adjust in EFI is to run a property check. So just go to the property master folder, open the property dot bat file. It will open a um, wizard like this. Just open, go to file, open, and navigate to the EFI folders. Continue to this file. I'll just simply navigate to my EFI folder, over C, and then I'll go to this. Click open. Now all you need to All you need to do is just press Control Shift and R. Then select the OC folder, select folder, then Control S. That's it. We are good with our EFI partition. Once your uh, Balin Nature flashing would be done, there would be an uh, partition called EFI. Just right click on that. I'm I know I don't have it because I cancelled the flashing. Meanwhile, because I have uh, installed already created with me in another flash drive, so I'll be using that. All you need to do is just select that particular EFI partition. Go to Change Later. Select the later of your wish. Just click OK. Then click on Apply. And then yes. In my particular case, because I have used all my free trial runs, so you can grab it on other sources. You know what I mean. Then it would be great. So one of the particular library from you can get it for free is getintopc.com. I am just closing it up. Yes, and the last thing which you would require is nothing but to open the Explorer Plus Plus and it is administrator. Why? Okay, so once you have with yourself Explorer Plus Plus open as administrator. You would be having in your particular case the EFI uh, partition which are mounted through mini partition wizard. Just grab your EFI, copy it, and then paste in that particular folder wherever your uh, EFI is there.